Today's date, Tuesday, May 30th, 2023. Topic, Life, Season 3. Memory Verse, Matthew 28 verse 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and, lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Bible reading is taken from Matthew 28 verses 19 to 20. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and, lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Our topic once again is Life, Season 3. Message We discussed the first and second seasons of life over the past two days and will progress to discuss the third season of life today. In the third season of a person's life, he or she moves from trying to impress people to trying to influence people. This is the period when a person wants to become a voice. This is the season when you want to say like Apostle Paul. Be ye, followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1 Many times, people in this season look for others in the younger generation to mentor. In this season, you would become hungry to pass on knowledge to others. When you get to this stage, you are now maturing because you are after impact more than anything else. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also according to 2 Timothy 2 verse 2. If you failed to properly learn the truth about life, you would begin to pass on your erroneous understanding to others and hence become a negative influence and not a positive one. You must be careful in this season not to spread a virus in the systems of people. When people seem to have found someone whose message they enjoy, they begin to spread it and before long, that message would have become a doctrine. What we know today as the extreme and erroneous message of grace was started by a man called Nicholas. He was amongst the first deacons, Acts 6 verse 5, however, he had adopted an erroneous way of living a so-called Christian life and by the time we get to Revelation 2 verse 15, we see that his erroneous way had become a misleading doctrine within the church, as it still is today. In this third season of life, your lifestyle and behavior will also begin to influence others. An example can be seen in 2 Peter 2 verse 15 where some Christians were described to be following in the steps of Balaam who chose to use the power of God for material gains. Beloved, it is very dangerous to mislead those who look up to you. You must be particularly careful not to influence others negatively, Matthew 18 verse 6. Key Point If you are in the third season of life, please be sure that you are influencing people correctly. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, fill me up with your divine wisdom so I can influence people around me positively. Amen. Bible in one year, Job 13 to 16. Our hymn today is Hymn 30. When we walk with the Lord. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. God bless you. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word. What a glory He sheds on our way. While we do His good will, He abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. Sorrow we 
share, but our toil He doth richly repay. Not a grief nor a loss, not a frown or a cross, but is blessed if we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. What we never can prove, the delights of His love, until all on the altar we sit at his feet, or we'll walk by his side in the way. What he says we will do, where he sends we will go, never fear, only trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other be happy in Jesus.